Welcome everybody to a brand new commentary show called Wall Smashers. This show will feature some of the most infamous people within commentary brought together to answer the questions you want to hear and the debate topics you're interested in. In the first episode of Wall Smashers, we have Hollywood Huggy. We have Spanky Hamcock, who was once known as the infamous Why So Demented. And we have Triton! This is our cast for Wall Smashers. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more of these type of shows. Hey, Huggy, we're going to start with you, bud, on this episode. First off, thank you for coming on. I know um, I had to play a little bit of telephone to get you to come on the episode. Oh, boy. Yes. <laughs> However, I appreciate you coming on the show, Huggy. Now, we're going to... Yeah. How would you describe yourself in the commentary community? Oh, I think I'm just a uh, just a, a small fish that just has some interesting takes, and I got myself into uh, know some interesting people, and uh, yeah, because I know certain people that other people didn't like, there was a whole big kerfuffle. <laughs> there was literally two weeks within like the last month that were titled world war huggy i'm pretty sure you're selling yourself a bit short for your involvement yeah. in the community <laughs> world war huggy was a beautiful fucking thing i because of that it just spawned and spawned so many great pictures and memes and I, there's actually one where Zali goes on Nerdy John and just screams, I want to ban Huggy's <laughs> name, I'm tired of hearing his name, and I'm like, oh, it has gone a little bit deeper than it has gone a little deeper. <laughs> than it, it, did, it did go deep. It, it definitely went deep, actually, Huggy. Uh, and again, you and I had drama in that situation. Um, you know, we buried the hatchet. Obviously, we're doing a show together now. Yeah. Um, I do want to say, like, a lot of the people looking at you with this, like, whole perception of World War Huggy was due to, like, your flip-flop into friend groups, uh, you talking shit behind people's backs, you hanging out with some infamous people within the community, and that that's a lot of the reason why you're on this show today, because of the fact that that is how the larger community perceives you. And then also some of your takes and the fact that, like, at some points you were, like, flip-flopping... You gotta, you gotta mute Demented. You're causing an echo. Oh. God damn it. Fuck sakes. <laughs> but anyways, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, anyways, so Huggy, th those were some of the reasons why people are like, they don't really want to associate with you before. Or, um, again. And it it's unfortunate because in my opinion, you were starting to actually like break headway. You're starting to get the views. You're starting to get a lot of guests on your show. And then when this whole controversy and drama happened, um, you lost a lot of those people. I know you have found a new group of people you chill with. And again, part of the drama you're being accused of. But, like, how do you feel about that whole situation? Like, now that it's a few weeks after. Here's the thing that I will argue. And people could, could tell me I'm being coping and seething and more than but. It, if you like someone and you are, if you can say them a friend, and it's very weird to, to say the word friend in this space. It okay. shouldn't matter who you interact with because that's your guy, that's your person, you know. It, it doesn't matter who it is. Like, so and through, throughout this whole uh, thing, it people, people just change. And people got mad, and people hated, you know, just, just, just had a very negative perception. Which, at the end of the day, it's fine. And uh, I was very happy with the, uh, with the YouTube, with my YouTube being, you know, growing and people coming in and whatnot. But hey, at the end of the day, I just enjoy speak. Like I truly like speaking about things that I like to talk about and if it doesn't give me a hundred views 
or 200 views. Uh -huh. Even if I get 20 views, you know, I'm happy with it. And, you know, I wish them nothing but luck as well, too. So a few questions for you, Huggy, before we move on to Spanky Hancock. Yeah. <laughs> I will never get used to saying that name. Um... All right. Like a porn name. <laughs> it does. Um, how do you think you're blackballed now? No. No. Okay. Because, because being blackballed means I I don't have access to anybody. Okay. I have. Again, one of the reasons why I'm I I am on this show is because of Pizzle. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. Pizzle has been a staunch supporter of mine. It's true. Pi doing... Jessica Pizzle was uh, very excited to have you on this show, I will say. Pizzle, Pizzle has, has <laughs> always been a very staunch supporter of mine. And I appreciate her for I appreciate her for, for uh, saying that she'll come on with me and whatever the case is. So I appreciate that. Okay. So... Well, being bl sorry. No, no, go on. Go on. So... I just don't think I'm being blackballed because it, it's saying that you being a blackball, it just, it lays the way of saying I can get interviews. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. Um, with that said though, me and you have had gotten into the conversation about like, what is a friend and what you consider a friend has like, has that perception changed for you now? Like, are you happy with the group of people you chill with now online? Cause it's definitely a different group than what it used to be. But um, are you happy with where you are and the clicks you're in now? I'll put, I'll put it like this. I used to have this fantasy of of there being a forever after group of friends. You know, the high okay. school yeah. movie, star movie, TV thing, happy days type of thing. Yeah. Things change. Things, things change from year to year. Um, I enjoy anyone I talk with and they've been nice to me and I'm nice to them and I think people fail to understand the concept of if you show respect to me and you are genuinely enjoying my company and you're not doing it because you feel bad or because you feel pity mm -hmm. you know that's all that's all that matters um Okay. I will make the I will make the argument that uh, the people I used to associate with, I firmly believe, and and if you, they tell me otherwise, then I'll hear them out. But I firmly believe that behind closed doors, there have been whisperings and airing our frustrations with me, with the whole idea of flip flopping and talking behind other people's backs and whatnot. Okay. But, if there wasn't any guilt by association stuff mm -hmm. with Slug and Park and Tigers, I would surmise that the, that the uh, can would have been kicked farther down the road. Yeah. And somehow, some way, there might have been a small little incident where I don't agree with them, and that's when it would, would have been blown up. So, do you ha do you have any regret about this, like the whole like World War Huggy situation, or like you doubling down on like your stance with it? No, because I don't. Like I said, I don't regret. I I don't go into regrets with anything. Okay. No, that's cool. That, that I'm asking. So yeah. Because at the end of the day, like. With the with everything else that came out, with the leaks, yeah, with people putting in their stamp of approval on certain actions and and whatnot, it just goes to show that we as human beings are are um, fallible. Okay. We we have biasness. We protect the ones that we care about, regardless of what they did, and people just change the definition. Of, of certain actions of morality. And that's fine. If that's your guy, if that's your friend, then great. Have at a horse. <laughs> at, the end, at the end of the day, do not wag the finger at anyone if you can't wag the finger at yourself. Okay. So, here's my thing. You're aware of why people have issues with you, though, right? Like, you are you, like, self-aware of it, though? Like, why people, like, some of these people that have grievances with you do? Of course. Okay. Okay, that, that, that's good, then. Um, who out of this whole drama situation would you say you're most disappointed with, Huggy? Well, 
Why Moses? Like, out of everyone from, like, the World War Huggy stuff and, like, some of the, like, drama that happened before it, is there someone you're specifically, like, kind of, like, a little let down with, like, about how this whole situation happened or, like, how it progressed and ended? I think overall, I, I, to be disappointed would, would, would mean that I had, in I invested time, energy, and <laughs> Fuck! That's a it's, savage it's, response. <laughs> being, no, okay, I know, I understand you're being honest. <laughs> Fuck! Being honest you, it's not Jeez. Like, I'm, am I? The only time I felt sadness and anxiety was because I thought, as a group, as a collective, I lost something. Mm -hmm. But then they come to realize that. When you when you have people when when you when you have people that when you have people that that are very angry at uh, at something as trivial as guilt by association and and the fact that there was doubling down and whatnot. It just it just goes to show you that my my feelings during the first week of World War Huggy mm -hmm. were just me feeling hurt that I thought I fucked up because I wasn't being strong enough that I wasn't being comfy with my stance on hey fuck you I I associate who I want to associate with if you don't like yeah. me you could I didn't, I didn't I didn't do that I just stood out like I was a wallflower. So, and then, can we go on? Sorry, hugging my back. And bad. then when I did the initial tweet, that every that when I did the initial tweet, my quote unquote my chemical romance thing was again, the idea of that phrase. But I think people don't understand that what that phrase is. Mm -hmm. It's just emotional venting. It's like any my chemical romance on the so, I. My my black parade type of thing. I understand what you're doing because I think I was critical of it because some people are saying you're suicide bait in, and it, it it definitely looked like it with like some of the quotes you're making. But to me, in my opinion, I'll be honest with you, you're you're fucking tweeting out like a fucking thirteen year old fucking chick did on Facebook. That that's how I that's how like and, like I'm not being like I'm kind of making fun of this huggy. Like you were tweeting like a thirteen year old fucking girl after like breakup. Yeah and. But like, yeah, a, that's oh, but here's the thing though. Okay. I I did I wrote what I wrote. Yeah. But the thing is, is that there were people that were concerned about it. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of people concerned be, about it. There there was. Which people which people were concerned about? But then like, they go in and they say I was baiting. It's like okay, but it. If you look at the fucking prime example, the King Puba that is that's big boy in the news, mm -hmm. that's suicide painting. But whatever the case is. And in that case You're referencing Boogie, eh? Boogie. Yeah, yeah okay. But at the end of the day, man, it's like I write where I write and then like if there's a response to it then people ask me why didn't this person respond to you about the tweet mm -hmm. or whatnot? That I just I just was honest about it. But again, it's no one's responsibility, honestly, to check up on anyone, especially on this platform. Okay, Let, so yeah. I do have one last question for you, Huggy. Sure. Um, how do you feel about Peepaw's criticism towards you during this whole situation when he was someone? who really tried to, like, promote you and upsell you, and you even got a mic from him. Like, are, are you, like, at all, like, disappointed that, like, he tried to, like, platform you and, like, help you better, like, your online, uh, like, platform? And then, like, seeing how, like, he was kind of disappointed with all this shit that's gone out. Mm. Like, yeah, that's... did that ever, like, did you have any, like, feelings towards that, or how did you feel about that? Because to... Part, it... Peepaw is Peepaw. I, I appreciate Peepaw for what he did, mm -hmm. for what he said, for what he gifted. Bless him. Okay. And, and that, that's why I, I feel about that. Okay. But again, when it comes to anyone's perspective, 
and feelings towards me or towards anyone mm-hmm. else. That's their thing at the end of the day. Okay, no, that's fair. I understand that. All right, thanks, Huggy. I'm going to move on to Triton. So, hey, Triton. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. So, you were one of the people that were recommended after the initial show I planned called Liar Liar fell apart because Ghosty ran, which was, you know, it it was done with uh, the idea of Liar Liar was supposed to be uh, why so demanding Ghosty, but Ghosty ran because he said he didn't want to be back in the public spotlight. So, when I asked people who, like, who would they want to see on a show? You were one of the names that came up. And I think for it, like, obviously I know there's a lot of people joke on you about, like, your accent um, and how you speak, and I'm sure you're self-aware of that. But also, yeah, there, there's a lot of criticism against you. Again, a lot of people say you're a contrarian. A lot of people say you're associated to anti-commentary. Your, your takes are terrible. Uh, a lot of people have, like, argued with your defensive, uh, I believe it was BX Bullet, and then um, kind of your Discord server is a little infamous for, like, some of the people it has in it. Um, with all that said, like, do you have any points, like, any defenses? Because I, I actually, out of everyone here, I act probably know the least amount from you, because the only major interaction we have had was when you called into my show, Turd Island, which that was the... Um, it was Triton versus the world. I think the show was the episode was called yeah. and you kind of went against like slug and slug said a bunch of stuff about you. Um, and I don't have anything to back it up. I think he called you like fucking his standard things like pedo, sexual harassers, all that stuff. Like, um, what I, I want to talk about sexual harasser. I, don't even I, ha- I have to go back. No, I have to go back and like watch the episode, but like, I do want to ask you specifically, like why do you and slug hate each other so much? I mean, I don't hate him anymore. Okay. I'm more of, like, probably neutral. Like, I don't talk to him. I'll have him at it. But, okay. like, I don't hate the guy. Is, is there anyone... As much as I used to. Is there anyone you hate in this community, specifically? I mean, a lot of, like, a lot of the bigger channels. Like, I really... I would, obviously, I really don't hate Tipster just because, you know, he's a hypocrite. He's, okay. He cheats on his wife, and he's just also, like, a faggot. Wait, I'm allowed to say slurs, right? I mean, I, let's try to avoid them, but yeah, it's going on YouTube, so like, I won't be like taken down for it. But like, let's try to avoid them as best we can. All right, he's more of just uh, like someone I don't like—a bad faith actor, hypocrite. Same, and I feel like a lot of these people, yeah, like, um, Augie, Bo Blacks, all of them are like the same people. So you hate just, like, like they all have like yeah, they all have the same takes. Nobody ever challenges each other. It's like how can you call yourselves commentary? When you guys don't even give your true, honest commentary. Okay. Um, so how do you feel about being labeled, like, anti-commentary, though? Because, like, there's a lot of I mean, stigma behind being labeled, like, I mean, anti-commentary. I'm not really anti-commentary. I'm more of, like... But people perceive you as a... Side. Yeah, it's probably because I'm more of, like, the sector side and I criticize commentary. Sec- like, sec- I the sector think- side, though, is, like, hugely, like, people, like, try to avoid them because of, like, how they act. Yeah. So, like... I mean, I mean, I'm not like I'm not like fully sector, but I'm just I just have like similar like ideas as like the sector, you know. But, but then like you're yeah. attached to people like Huge In, but like not like I'm not saying you're attached to Huge In, but like there's association with you and Huge In, and then like yeah. you know like the stigma that comes with that specifically, and then um, you like your Discord has been like criticized quite a bit for the people in it. Yeah, because like which Huge In's not in it no more. Okay. Um, he, I mean, we still, like, well, in good times, we just left because of, like, some incident that happened with Maya Moore yeah. and that shit. Because that was another uh, one. You I defended was... Maya Moore as well, didn't you, or no? I didn't, no, I didn't defend okay. her. I just thought it was, I thought Webstion was weird, but I never defended her, like, doxing people. Okay. I just had a, um, a take where Webstion's a piece of shit, Maya's a piece of shit, like, yeah, like, both are bad. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. I understand that. So, like, you don't agree with being labeled like a contrarian, um, and or sorry, not contrarian, but uh, anti-commentary. You, I mean, I understand it just because I go against like the majority commentary, mm-hmm. but I feel like like nobody's truly anti-commentary just because you know we're doing commentary as well, and I do commentary and other stuff, but I'm more of like anti like con- kind of like bigger commentary. Yeah, I'm kind of like a commentary critic. 
Okay. That's, that's a better label. So you consider yourself critic. like a commentary critic. All right. Yeah. Have you gone after someone that isn't like a commentary bro, like a smaller commentary person? Like, have you ever specifically gone after people? I mean, I have like made videos on like of uh, smaller channels, like channels like my size, because they made videos on me. Who, uh, who specifically really, have you gone after? Because I don't know much of I your mean, lore, I, Triton, so I gotta... I mean, I've made, um, which my first peak to, like, quote-unquote fame was when I made, um, actually, before that, I was making videos on a guy named Mad Black Atheist. He was, like, a, like, a guy with, like, 10,000 subs. He would, like, dox people live on live stream. Okay. And, like, you know, do, like, flags, call Order 66, and I called that out. Yeah. And then, like, a lot of people in the community kind of supported me at the time because they hated this mad black person and mm -hmm. even tipster like was like support him and that's when i was like mod mod for tipster friends with tipster back then a lot of commentary you know was like on my side because that guy was a doxer and he also said i swatted him and his kids which was proven false because like everyone in my he said he claimed that i was just talking to people in my discord about it and then I asked them on my Discord, like, we never had no swatting conversations. And if we did, it would have been recorded because I know the people in my Discord have definitely recorded me doing that shit. You know, because we don't, yeah. we, we don't all like that shit. Okay. And then, um, so you're like, so they, primarily yeah. you're saying your Discord is against Doxin. Yeah. Because I've heard that your Discord has like promoted Doxin as well. So, like, no, the, we've okay. never, like, you can go, I mean, you're in it. Like, I'm in it, yeah, like, you sent me the link and I joined, you know. Yeah, so. I mean, you can go, like, anyone wants to go through it. I mean, it's a public channel. Like, you mm -hmm. can go through it. There's no doxes in there. Even in the private channels, you can ask all my staff. Like, there's no doxes. We don't, like, there's no nothing. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, th thanks for asking the questions. I mean, so what is your overall, like, opinion with commentary currently right now? Like, some of these, like... I feel like it's, like, on a downfall. Just yeah. Just because, like, a lot of people, like, are being hypocritical. They don't really say what they think. They're just saying, like, what anything will get them clout. And then, like, there's, like, a lot of backstabbery, a lot of snake -ness going on. And then, like, I feel like if you, um, like, criticize big commentary, like Nicholas Diorio and, like, they're the big commentators. You get labeled as like anti commentary, a villain, doxer, pedo, you name it, and everyone will just come at you. It's like call you as like a clout chaser, spurg, and won't hear. So you're you like saying I feel like that's bullshit. So you like, firmly if believe you in can like criticize the criticize other people, you should be able to be criticized. That's what I believe in. I, I, I totally agree with that. I think everyone, like, the moment you throw yourself on the internet and you have a platform and you're talking shit, I think people should be able to talk shit back to you. Um, I got people in my Discord that have, that have made videos on me before, and, like, I still love them, <laughs> so I don't really get offended. Uh, so, basically, with what you said, though, beforehand, so you totally think, like, the clicks in commentary are totally, like, a thing? And do you think yeah. they're a problem? Yeah, they're a problem, especially when they work with a guy named Keemstar, because you know, like, Keemstar <laughs> stalks people in the past. Okay. And, like, and like I said, they want to call H3H3 a bad person, which, yeah, yeah I mean, he is, but Keemstar is literally, like, the same people. Like, I feel like H3H3 and Keemstar are literally the same person. They just are having a ton of conflict. Different side of the coin. The yeah, like, they act the same. They do the same things. It's like... How can you be cool with Keemstar, but I hate H3H3? H3. Who, in your opinion, is more successful, Ethan Klein or Keemstar? I mean, Ethan Klein, just because Keemstar doesn't really upload to the Drama Alert channel anymore. Okay, but, like, financially, though, like, with every... Because Keemstar, like, he might not upload, but he does, like, Happy Punch and all that. I mean, financial... I mean, content-wise is H3, but um, money-wise, financial-wise is Keemstar. Yeah, you think Keemstar? He's, like, a manager of, like multiple boxing companies and he does all these like boxing deals that's not even commentary so he definitely has more money than h street okay cool all right uh thanks try i'm gonna move on to um spanky hancock fuck it i'll never get used <laughs> to it um all right spanky hancock formerly known as why so demented you're the gem of tonight man you, everyone yeah. was shocked that uh i managed to get you on so, I'm <laughs> so uh, I, I do have to say thank you for coming back and doing this. I know uh, 
Uh, well, I'm not sure. I know, like, you have interactions with Huggy. I was in the middle of work when you were like, oh, hey, you want to you wanna come on a podcast with Ghosty? I'm like, uh, let me think about this. <laughs> let me think about this first. I'm in the middle of work. Hey, we're here right now recording, though, so. Thank God without Ghosty. Well, okay, so we'll talk about that later on. Um, so you're back. You're You're on the show. Other than that, you did a show or a, a stream of Huggy, and you featured on Flatley's video. Do you regret yes. going on to either of those videos or streams? No, they're my no? friends. Okay, cool. Uh, do you still remain? Did you, have you remained in contact with them? Like once you disappeared? Because I know you and I have like yeah. remained in contact. So, okay. Yeah, essentially, but uh, I don't talk to them much. I haven't <laughs> talked to Huggy much. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh. No. I haven't talked to Flatley much, but I've uh, talked to Flatley recently. Okay. Do Do you I'm know Triton? Discord. Yes. Okay. So you So everyone in this call knows each other. Okay. Cool. So do you want me to explain what you did, or do you want to explain what you did? I mean, we could both explain. <laughs> want, so I, I I'm curious. I care. <laughs> so, if I may, if I may cut in, if I may, I'm sorry. I may, if I may. Cut go in. on. Go on, Huggy. Spanky, I love you, man. I God, God help, God bless you and everything else. But, but you, my guy, were. I have no idea why you did what you did. Cause he's a retarded clout chaser. That's always been my you stance on you, this. You know what? You t you t l d r it, my guy. I'm I, just I saying. I've no, I come this. Let me give y'all oh, the okay. rundown, okay? So you're firmly you aware that no one will believe this, though. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that's <laughs> weird, but it's just like, like weird, like, uh, it's just weird. Go on. Let, let's hear your thing. Yeah, but it's just like I don't really give a shit at this point if they believe it or not. Okay. But here, sure that, so that doesn't matter to me <laughs> at all because I've moved it past should. it and I've moved, I've moved on in life. Okay. But. As far as what I did, right? Yeah. I didn't care at the time. Okay. Right? I didn't care about other people. I didn't care about those who were rooting for me, all the people that were watching me, all those who trusted me. And that's my bad. That is on me. Because at the end of the day, I betrayed their trust. I let them down. Everybody who vouched for me, all of y'all... And I threw a lot of people under the bus. And that, <laughs> and that I'm really fucked up for. Right? Yeah. But at the time, all I cared about was what elaborate stories can I create to bring in more views, to bring in more clicks, to bring in more recognition, to bring in more clout, to help me grow faster. You came That's in you I came into commentary like I'm gonna be this commentary gangster. And honestly, that's how <laughs> that was what how I perceived it. You came into it, you're like, I'm gonna be this commentary gangster, I'm gonna say some of the hardest shit around, I'm gonna act hard on camera, talk about this shit. And then you almost went through like a like a regret arc where then you went into like the law like the fake like deaths and shit like that. And then um from there, it just, uh, in my opinion, watching it, it, it kind of, like, spiraled, because that's when, like... And then we had the sympathy arc and whatnot. Yeah, no, and that's how it came off, but, like, I think the only thing you fooled me with, because, like, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, man, you're like, we dropped a guy on a highway side, I'm like, you, you would be in fucking jail for 30 years, you know what I mean, if you did that <laughs> shit? But, like, it was the age, it was the age thing you fooled me on. I will be brutally honest. When you said you were closer to my age, and then I found <laughs> out how young you were, I was like, oh, fuck me. Like, <laughs> I, I'm serious, though. I was like, fuck me, obviously. This like, kid, how like, old is, how old wow, are you? that, like, I'm 21. Yeah, he's just You're fucking... 21? He, he sounds 30. That's what he got me on. He lied, and he told me he was close to my age, and that's what I fucking believed it. But then... He's more close to my age. Well, when, he, when I found out he was a fucking kid, a lot of, like, these lies, I was just like, okay, so he lied, and, like, about all this. Like, you, you just came off to me to, um, Spanky as, like, that kid in high school who runs his mouth all the time saying, I did this, yeah, I did this, I did this, I did this. And, like, no one really questioned it. Because I, I think, I really do think, it was hilarious that you were standing up for Xylee. 
And that is what led to, like, this whole expose thing with you, was that you thought someone went too far talking about Xylee's husband being sick, and you went out of your way to, like, voice that publicly, how you're like, no, this isn't fucking cool. And then that is what led to this, like, explosion of you. Like, how... It was, just like, it was like a shot in the dark for them, which they happened to be right, and then I got But, mad. like, how do you... get mad to get mad. I got mad because I got caught. How do that's, you feel about that, the though? Truth at the end of the day. That, like, because I, I don't, like... You're shitty. You're a shitty person for lying and for, like, and a lot of people, like, you... And I own up to that. And a lot of people said you emotionally abuse people. Like, when people were sharing, like, their sympathy things, like, when they're like, oh, like, I... Uh, emotionally abusive. Stop the cap. Stop the But, no, that's a, mo a mentally, emotionally, it's, like, the same thing. How can you emotionally abuse somebody on Discord? That's no, 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 no. So listen to this, though, Triton. So when Demented said, I forget who it was when you said, like, it was, like, your, uh parent or something passed away or whatever uh people were coming out and they were saying like oh i i feel so sorry for you like i've gone through this and there were, he can speak up and say because i saw it people were reaching out to him privately i had a phone yeah, no, call with him about that wasn't fake well i mean you could say it's not fake but like a lot of people like you My know what grandfather? i mean father uh no because so there's a lot of people that said you said your father died too no Okay. When the fuck did I ever say that? Bro, I don't know. I, I lost track of it. Like, this whole fucking, like... <laughs> no, it was my grandfather. I... That actually happened. I even showed, like... Okay. I even showed Bad Dog. Bad Dog even asked me. He was like, can you actually prove that that's real? And I showed... Bad Dog was friend. one of the last people to defend you, I will say, by the way. That guy yeah. held out for you. But, uh... Um... Yeah, but it's just like, my grandfather actually fucking died. Like, when I told yeah. everybody, hey, my grandfather died... That was genuine. That was real. I was genuinely fucking down and crying. Because, hey, that was my grandfather. That was somebody who I genuinely looked up to mm -hmm. in life. Who was always there for me. That was life. the one I called you. I believe you and I had, like, a conversation that night time for quite yeah, a while. That yeah, was, okay. yeah that, was, that was fucking real. That wasn't manipulating people. That was real. That part was fucking very real. Can I ask you a question? Where did you get the photo of the baby? It's a photo of me. Okay, so it, it looks like it's from the fucking 90s, and you're only 21, years, though. Like, <laughs> what? That baby looked like it came straight off a fucking Sears magazine. Like, I'm being fucking honest. <laughs> like, okay, um, so, like... Yeah, but I did emotionally manipulate Because That is true. No, okay, because that a lot of people were like upset by that, and I think like Tim, like you lied, and like I said, like when I found out your age, and then I found out everything was a lie, I was just kind of like, holy fuck! Like, I had two criticisms about it. it was like one, why was the community so welcoming to someone who did all this atrocious shit? Real, let's say everything you did was factual. Why was everyone so chill with you? You were literally a criminal. <laughs> so I like, and that I only had that take after everything happened. You know what I mean? Like I had to sit because I would have been guilty of it as well. I was like, why was I so like chill with a guy who arguably dropped people on fucking highway signs and like did a bunch of fucking foul shit to other people? Um, and that's part of me. Like I've always sat on that, like criticizing myself, and obviously like it could go to other people, and then like. The whole other thing was, like, you were, like, you were growing as a channel. You were doing really well. And, um, it, it basically disappeared in a day for you. But, like... Yeah, no, no, I have nobody did, else to Did that suck, though? Like, did that, like, take a hit on you? I mean, it sucked, but it, 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 I reaped what I saw. I laid my bed. Yeah? I made my bed, and I had to lay it. Is there, like, any people specifically that you want to apologize to? That you haven't had an opportunity Abby. to. Abby, like, specifically? I think I have apologized to her. Yeah. But yeah, she put a lot of trust in me, and okay. I worked that trust. Yeah. <laughs> I know people. I do owe a huge apology to people, because people try to reach out with mm -hmm. me and whatnot. And it's just like, I took advantage and whatnot. And for that, I am a fucking piece of shit. So, like, why did you escalate so much with the lies? Like, why? Because to know. me, it seems like a spiral. Because, like, for a while, it was, like, you started off as just a guy who was, like, a game banner. And, like, I, went to jail. I, and then, like, it, it escalated. I was desperate because I was running out of ideas. Okay. So, I was desperate to try to create 
whatever the fuck I could just to keep getting more people in. Like, I, I roleplay fucking D&D, man. Like, we play D&D together. I create fantasy fucking universes. You created a whole fucking plot line for GTA 7 with your fucking lies. Realistically. <laughs> I'm just fucking saying. Um, and, like, again, like, I, I don't, like, I think it's shitty. Like, I think it's awful what you did and, like, how attached some of these it people is. got. I really do. It is. It's like, I let a lot of people down and it's like, at the end of the day, I really didn't deserve all the fan, all the mm-hmm. support that I got, all the people that backed me, all the people that sat and watched the sentiment, I really didn't fucking deserve all that. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I let them all down. I threw a lot of people under the bus. A lot of people are not going to like what I'm about to say, but yes, I did throw a slug underneath the bus. And for that slug, I am sorry. Mm-hmm. I threw people under the bus like Ember, like y'all, like mm-hmm. all kinds of different people. So why why specifically like you name drop like slug and ember why why specifically them, was it just oh, those easy? Are the, those are the people that yeah those are the easiest people that I could think of at the top okay. of my mind. Okay, um, because I know so both like, those people considered you like friends. Yeah, uh, and like that that, that and it. and like despite, so did Ember. Despite and, what people want to fucking think, right? Yeah. Despite what a lot of people want to think. Slug was genuinely, behind the scenes, genuinely a nice fucking guy for me. And genuinely mm-hmm. was there for me. Right? Yeah. And me being a piece of shit, I took advantage of that. Right? Well, that's what it I mean, like... Su- it wasn't Slug taking advantage of me. No, it was me taking advantage of Slug. And it was me getting mad because I had gotten caught. Mm-hmm. And that is the bottom line. That is... There's nothing more to it. Like, it's just mm-hmm. like, there is no... Oh, I got upset because of something else. No, I got upset because I got fucking caught. Okay. And called out. So like, it to me, but like it, it actually like it. I was kind of like, you know, it's upsetting to almost see because like Ember and Slug both generally really considered you like their friends, and then they yeah. ended up being like arguably some of the most angriest people at you. Even like Abby could be included with this. Because Ember, like, for a long time, hyped you up and was like, you're super dope guy, super chill. And then, like, when all the drama happened with the Sinbin, she just felt like you pushed her away for better people, arguably. Was, like, one of her biggest grievances. And then... I haven't heard from her in forever. Well, no, like, I mean, like, she's, like, ever, like people are pissed for their own, like, issues against you. You know what I mean? Like, a, yeah. a lot of people are, like, very much dislike you. Out of everyone in this call, I got, like, some flack for Triton, some people tell me what the fuck for Huggy, but then you specifically, people were calling me crazy to have you on this. Um, and I and I will stand by my point. I think you were retarded. I think you have done yeah. bad things. I don't think fundamentally you're a bad person. Because, like I said, if you were a terribly shitty person, I don't think you would have came out and, like, said someone crossed the line talking about Xylee's husband that way. Because you, and, like, you you have been there for other people. You have, like, listened I to other people and all that. About me. Well, I have good qualities about me. Well, at the end of the day, I still was a shitty person. Oh, well, I'm not, I'm not covering up for the shit you did. Don't, don't get this mixed up. Um... <laughs> I'm just saying, and like, when I found out how old you are, arguably, when that happened last year, was it last year? Yeah, last year. Um, yeah. You were even younger. That's what I mean. Like, when I found out how young you were, I was like, oh, okay. It, it's why, like, I held off personally for such a long time talking about it until, like, I finally did, like, my stream about it. And then that was it. Um, and then we remained in contact afterwards. But, um, what about the Salvo stuff? I do owe Salvo with a huge involvement. Yep. Because that, on my end, that was fucked up of me. Right? Yeah. And I acted like a huge asshole and a fucking Well, you said you were going to go psychotic. kill someone. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that That's fucked. I mean, and, uh, over yeah, internet shit? Like, like, why did yeah. you hate him? I didn't. But... I hated that he figured it out. Okay, so that that's the whole reason why, like... You were, like, so angry at him. So, like... Yes, because I wanted to keep the lie up and whatnot. Do you think... And that was incredibly shitty to me. The only reason I was mad at Salvo is because I got caught. So, do you think... 
then the criticism against Slug for giving you an address that he claims is a fake address, but an address, do you think he's equally at fault for doing that to someone who says they want to kill someone? Well, it depends, right? Because Slug did tell me a lot, something that a lot of people don't know, right, is Slug did tell me, hey, if you do... All, all those DMs were leaked. Him, all them I will leaked. call the police on it. All that like, was leaked out. Yeah, everyone has seen those. Like, oh, I didn't know. But, but like, here's... The day, I can't knock Slug mm -hmm. because Slug has already owned up to it. Slug has already apologized. Yeah. He's already made up with Sabu. Mm -hmm. my, my question is like, so you, okay. Do you think he was at fault for giving you the address at all? Yeah, he was Okay. pretty fucked up for it. Okay, cool. At the, at the same time, right? The problem initially started with you. Yeah. Well, wow. I mean, well, making up for it, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, I, thought, I thought they were pretty chill with each other now. No, I'm not talking about Salvo. I mean, like, the perception of Slug doing that. I don't know if he'll, oh. like, you know what I mean? I don't think perception-wise he'll get through with it. So, well, this was everyone's intros and kind of the dramas behind them. Um... Let's let's go to Triton for a moment. Yeah. Triton, who out of the group of you guys thinks has like the most like is the most controversial? The most controversial uh, probably like, why so demented. Yeah. Okay. Do you agree with that, Demented? I'm sure Michael agrees. <laughs> How about you, Huggy? Do you think uh, <laughs> Dem uh, Demented was like well, Spanky is the most controversial of all of you here? I think. I think. Uh, Spanky is the most dumbest. <laughs> the dumbest. Yeah. Um, I think if if you if you could categorize, uh, if you if you categorize dumb shit, th the fact that this man had had came into my Discord while we were while we were in talks, he comes in and he talks about how. He had to put the beach on someone. And he says, <laughs> on parole. <laughs> He's on parole. <laughs> when you beat someone up, you could go, you, that's violating your parole. He comes back the next day, yeah, guys, hi, everything is great. <laughs> it's like, even at that point, I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? So, it's, it's kind of like he's controversial, but at the same time, if, if no one else saw this show, yeah. that's, that's kind of on you, my guy. Like, I mean, put the pieces together. Much love to you, Spanky, but still. So, do you guys in this call have questions for any of what, like, all of you, like Triton, Huggy, and Spanky, do you guys have questions for each other? Like, do you have want to ask about anything? Because A lot of people hate Triton. A lot of people do hate Triton. That's why Triton's here. <laughs> um, it's like Triton. Like, how do you feel that a lot of people hate you? I don't really care. I mean, no. A lot, of people, a lot of people like me. A lot of people hate me. It is what it is. Yeah. Do you? Do I know why they hate me. I don't know why they hate you. Well, they oh. hate me because I go like against pop popular opinion and commentary a lot. So and they said I have a lot of hot takes, like. People believe believe that I'm a pe pedo defender because that Zeal's not a pedo. Wait, what? Really? Do you hold by that yeah. defense? I mean, I don't think he's a pedo now. No, I don't think he's a pedo now. Zero's a kid that in the group chat that told the girl to put the ice cubes in her pussy, right? There was no evidence of it, though. Is it? Hasn't it got leaked? No, the message just never got leaked. The, the reason why a lot of people think he did it. Because he admitted to it, but he retracted it because he said he's going to Why would you... Okay, but that's like... Why would you admit that, like, you told the girl to put ice cubes in her pussy if she's underage? I mean, I'm not saying he's smart. I just don't think he's a pedo, you know? Like, I don't think, like, I don't think that was true. I feel like he was just being stupid and retarded. I was like, I'm going to admit this thing because I'm going to take my own life. But then he, ne he never took his own life or his girlfriend stopped him. And then he's like, you know what? I need to fix this shit. <laughs> and that's why he attracted everything and actually grew a brain. Has he? He kind of disappeared. But how do you like? He still uh, like makes that? like Smash content, and he's still in um, technicals as private server. Ah, okay. So demented. What were you saying? 
How the fuck do you retract something like that? That's what I'm fucking saying. You can't come out and tell a, like a miner that like put ice cubes in your fucking pussy and then be like, I retracted, I lied. I may be bad. Right? <laughs> <laughs> At least you didn't lie about pedo, like pedo shit. <laughs> like I may be fucking horrible, but, but I, I am not that horrible. Thing, Holy though, shit! Like I don't know why like she don't have med the screenshots for that the worst things, but has screenshots of like the less like bad things she accused him of. Like it doesn't make sense. Okay, I I have to I have to, yeah, that that's an older topic, like a good but point. yeah. But... Yeah, I had t hot takes like that. I also had, like, um, other, other hot takes that, like, certain people that are popular are bad people, which I still stand by. Yeah, like the commentary bros and, like, obviously yeah. you're, like, okay. How do you guys feel about the group chat that got leaked? Because I know, uh, Spanky, you're, like, you haven't followed much of this my shit. Point about it, it proves my point about commentary. Of commentary just shielding each other and like mm -hmm. you know doing ops with each other like everyone's like oh you're crazy they don't do ops with each other and then the group chat leaks like yeah i was right they do do ops with each other they do like flag people behind the scenes i've been right this whole time but no one wanted to believe me duh uh spanky do you have any thoughts on like the group chat leaks did you see any of it um no but no. i heard that they were flagging people i heard they were trying to cancel people I heard yeah they were doxing people yeah, to me that they uh to they me doxed that... salvo's wife they his wife i like they used his uh address from like a t-shirt order well, was they like said, the no, docs they, they um team store told chris to not go contact his wife and gave him an information to him. Okay. He was like, no i'm not joking like go do it like actually it's when one of the leaks so my my whole criticism for like the people involved in that is I still think everyone let Xyli fall on the sword in that situation. I think that was the best case Xyli could have done was cover the group chat. Um, I I was surprised at how quiet everyone else was in that group chat. Be, to be fair, no one really like spoke out about it. Oh, Willie Mac kind of did. He had like an interaction with Salvo. Yeah, what did he say about it? Uh, I'm gonna, I need to look back at their interaction, I'll look that up. Ah, oh, it's all good right now, man. Uh, Huggy, what are your thoughts about the group chat? Huggy, you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How, can do, hear you? how do you feel about it, man? Because, like, some of those people were people that were critical of you. Of course. But, again, as I said, human beings are fallible creatures. Who all were in the group chat? Uh, there's Optimus, Willie Mac, uh, Diesel Patches, Keemstar, Chris the Narc, Xyli, uh, Augie RFC, Nicholas Diorio, Bo Blacks. Um, am I missing anyone? What? Xyli. No, I said Xyli. Um, that Mudahar. might be all. Mudahar was in there. Yeah, Mudahar was in there. <laughs> Wavy Webster. Wait, wait, we surfer boy. Yeah. Wait, look, here is the thing that I would love to get an understanding with. Okay. Okay. I was accused of being a flip floppy and and being a, a bad faith person. Right? Yeah. Private or publicly, if you're talking shit. You're, to you, you're still talking shit. I, I don't understand. Well, like, I disagree with that. I think, like, a private conversation is a private conversation, which, like, I think they were dumb for not removing Salvo from that group chat. I don't know how no well, one removed him. But, uh... Let, let me ask you this question, then. Yeah. Uh, if, let's just say you and Tim... Let's yeah. Let's just say Tim... You and Tim are talking about someone in your Discord server. Of course. Oh, is it the horror? Oh, this person smells. He's stupid. Yeah. He has really bad takes and whatnot. That's a private conversation. It is a private conversation. I agree with that. But then, but then you go and you are you smile at that person's face. You treat them warmly or whatnot. Because why would I have to publicly humiliate someone? And I might have my own personal opinions on someone, but it doesn't mean I should publicly humiliate them. Or, like, publicly put my personal grievances in the public front line. 
maybe I don't want to shit that person, but I just don't like that person. Well, if you don't like that person, like, why even be nice to them? Why even be friends with Why do you have to necessarily be antagonistic or rude to them, though? You don't have to maybe I just don't want to have beef with that them. person. Well, exactly. Yeah, maybe fine, maybe I don't want to what? talk to them, but why can't oh, I talk to a friend? No, 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 you no, no, what I'm trying to say to you is, like, if no, I mean, person, it's fine, like, if, like, you are not friends with the person, but, it's like, some people, like, talk shit about someone that they talk to ev every single day, that sure. they're friends with, VC with, and that's fake as fuck, you know, like, if you're nice to the person, you're talking to them and actually friends with them, and you're talking shit about your friend. But they weren't talking fake. shit about anybody that they were friends with. They were talking no, shit I, mostly about I'm Salvo kidding. and Boogie. Boogie, and then there was Salvo. Who, who in that was friends? Because Mudahar made it very fucking apparent that he thought no, Boogie no. was a waste of life in that well, combo. Keem, Keemstar, well, Keemstar <laughs> was friends with him. He's like we're trying not, to like be. We're, we're he's losing. still just trying to be Boogie's friend. Even though he well, was like trying to kill himself and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, he was really Boogie's friend when he was telling him all that shit. Yeah, real yeah. good fucking friend. Boogie, no, 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 we Boogie's no, kind of no, dumb. Okay, you guys, one. let's let Huggy talk, please. We're losing track. I'm just saying that I was told I was talking bad about people in in in, in other places, right? I'm just yeah. saying that there was an instance that even though it was a private thing, there was a lot of grievances about other people that they would not say publicly to anyone else's face. It's just the way the world is. It's just mm -hmm. human nature. I'm not, and I, and I cannot shame on human nature. People do it all the time. It's impossible. Like, I would like to see someone that doesn't do it. But so, so like, so a lot of these people do talk shit openly. Though, like, let's say, like, again, like, you, Salvo, and Boogie. All those people at group chat were all pretty much openly critical of, like, Boogie and Salvo. I, like, arguably you can make the argument for Keemstar if he is friends with Boogie, if he's not friends with Boogie, or not. But, um, mm -hmm. like, everyone has openly criticized Salvo. You know what I mean? That wasn't, like, a private thing. I, like, I don't know. I, I do think there should be some, like protection if you have a com and again this comes to trust i think you should trust the person you're talking to privately as well but um i don't know there's some things i say in private that i wouldn't say openly and I, I i there's sometimes like i might have opinions on people but i don't necessarily think they should be aired out publicly for like the drama purpose of it like maybe i don't want drama but i'm just venting a frustration about someone maybe i have the hot take in this group on that but at the same time like if I don't like someone, I'm just not going to associate with them. I'm not going to nitpick, nitpick, nitpick on that person. I just realistically wouldn't want to deal with them. Because, like, I do agree with that. Like, I don't really talk a whole lot of shit about my friend. Maybe, like, and I'll be, like, you know, like, maybe I'll talk shit about a take a friend has of mine uh, in a private conversation. But if that ever came out, that, that's fine. It's probably nothing I wouldn't ever actually say openly, though. That yeah, but but the group chat was a whole different bag. It was a whole different bag of things. What I'm just focused on is it is just the idea of of talking shit, like like the boogie situation, right? How everyone in their mother was was saying that it was weird of the relationship with boogie and Desi, his girl, mm -hmm. and how they. All was saying that he's a pedophile. He looks like a pedophile. He yeah. looks like one, right? And the argument is with Keemstar and his girlfriend, Brantley. I don't, I, don't, I don't really give a fuck about the Keem, Keem and Brantley thing. That, that's none of my business. Oh, okay. My point is, is that... Boogie is a very sensitive individual. He's very... He's mentally... Iffy, if I could say that. To a point, though, where he also uses it as a defense for his actions, though. That, Do you... too. Yes, I, and I said this, this to you earlier before the recording. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is that if if you... Uh, the, the thing is, is that certain things cannot be said. Like, if you're saying it in private, that's one thing, right? But there is a reason why you're saying it in private for it. But that's the whole argument I'm making. There's like po there's reason there are things you would say in fry private to people that you consider friends versus shit but, you would air out publicly. 
Hey, but he, but he, but he, here's the other thing. Why would you have a business relationship with someone that you don't respect? Because it's a business relationship. There's profit on both sides. Keemstar's an opportunist when it comes to money. That's why do you think he did the Keemstar show? I totally 100% agree with Salvo that Keemstar knew or thought that Salvo would make him money, which is why they did it. Same thing with Boogie and Wayne's of Redemption. The fucking viewers they had on that was ridiculous. But now you're hearing how hard it is to work with Boogie. The only reason I think Keemstar works with Boogie is because he's profitable. So, but like, so like going back to your thing, like you can't openly shit talk someone if you have a business with them, but you can bitch about them and talk shit privately because that won't affect your business. May, may, again, like demented Triton, what are your p takes on this? Like, well, how do you guys feel about like private messaging? I mean I still think it's wrong for them to do that, but, like, at least say it to the guy's face. Sure, like, morally it is shitty, but, like, at the same time, I also think all those people in that group chat would say that to Boogie's face, though, at the same time. They probably would, let's be honest. They probably <laughs> would call, bring him into a private call and probably sell him the same fucking thing. But, like, Demented, what's your take on that? Like, if you talk shit about someone, like, have you ever talked shit about someone privately, but then, for, like, obvious reasons, didn't want to air it out publicly? Publicly, yeah, I've there's been instances where I didn't say it publicly, but to them, where I went privately and told them, yeah. I, I, I have one, Demented, with you, specifically, where um, I, me, you, and Flatley were in a call, and you got really, like, upset that I made a joke about Nephilim, or Nephilim, and you were, like, actually, vividly, like, you seemed very upset, and I left, and for my personal, like, experience i spoke to flatly i'm like lol all I, like it was a joke blah 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 and he's like tripping over it i'm not gonna say that in the moment to you because i know you're religious you know what i mean all if i if i said that to you that you're tripping over a joke i made did i get upset I'm yes sorry. you got you got upset because it was something about like people bane and angels or something and you were going on this rant uh about it but like oh I, yeah i wouldn't say that on. to you during that because i was my whole that was my whole little Religious zealot arc, I guess. You are still religious, though, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, but I but like, fight. but I wouldn't insult you about your religion, like to you. There's there's yeah. no benefit to it. Like I'm not against religion. I just made a joke that you obviously found like offensive, and then you got angry <laughs> or like went on like a rant about it. I left, and I was like, I literally messaged flatly, and I was like, LOL, he's tripping over my joke. But at the same time, I'm like, why would I tell you that? Like you're religious. There's no reason that all. If I came out and like said, Yo, you're tripping over this knowing that you're religious, it's just going to cause a fight. I don't need to cause a fight, but I also, like, flatly never ran to you saying that, like, Badwick said you are tripping over a joke, because there's no reason to cause a fight over it. And, like, I yeah. respect your religious. I, I don't openly knock religion. But, like, that's what I was kind of saying. Like, it, it's not like I'm still, like, chill with you, Demented, but, like, at the same time, like, I think, like, if everyone had that mentality where every grievance should be aired out, fucking no one would be chill with each other. Like, in all no. honesty, no one no, be, would not. be... I think it's also naive to think that people don't say shit about you in private. I, I think that's a very naive perception of it. Even friends. Like, everyone gossip. I will agree with you with that, Huggy. I think everyone just naturally gossips. But, like, I don't think it necessarily means, like, it has to boil down to, like, a public confrontation about it either. And this, like, there are limits, though. Like, I'm saying, like, if you accuse people of shit... Or, like, say that these people are doing horrendous fucking things. I understand that. that That's, like, an accusation. But if it's just like, oh, did you see what that guy's fucking wearing? Did you see what that guy's take was? That was retarded. Why? Who cares? You know what I mean? There's no reason to air it out publicly. It's, I cut in. Sorry? Yeah, go on. Go, Triton. Um, didn't um, Keemstar and Ruda um, do that to Boogie, though? Like, made an accusation saying that he was a borderline pedophile? I think Muda. And that... I th well, no, because they, they backed it up, though, with the screenshots, though, where they were saying he yeah, wasn't. But, um, it was, yeah, but, yeah, but um, they still made an allegation, and Muda made it pr uh, publicly, too. And then um, Keemstar, like, Boogie told Keemstar that um, the goal was actually 20. Keemstar knew, but when, then, when Muda did all, said all that stuff, Keemstar did not correct Muda and basically went along with it. That's very dishonest, and that's very, like, shady 
Business you guy. mean that's your one, business partner. one whiny fucking British guy would say, that's very disingenuous. <laughs> very disingenuous. But like, try to like, it, like um, I have to go back and see the screenshots. If they did that, that is fucking shitty of them to do that. But I also, <laughs> I'm pretty disingenuous. sure they like said that he wasn't necessary. though. I'm pretty sure Keemstar has also. <coughs> like after so. the leaks, yeah, but like during the leaks now that he was telling them otherwise in private. So then my question is like, Boogie, why do you think Boogie's still working with him then? He literally <laughs> gone. He literally gone on his hands and fucking knees and said, "I'm sorry, Daddy Keem." <laughs> like. Yeah, he's doing it because he thinks like that's this only that this is the way to save. That's the fucking career, pathetic. But in reality, but yeah, no, I know, and I agree. Like I think please, Daddy Keem, please keep making because... me more money. I feel like he should just leave the podcast, keep doing his own thing, and let us think these streamers though. Like, they don't realize YouTube, their channel's not going to last yeah. forever. Well, I think there are ways to make it last. I, I don't yeah, like that argument where everyone on fades the away. Going podcast with Keemstar, that's not going to make it last. That's no. That's making his reputation look worse because a lot of people are thinking that Boogie is actually a piece of shit and all that. But Boogie's had, like, the most views he's had in a long time, though. So there was benefit to it. Yeah, but they're it. all negative views, though, and they're not going to stay around. It's still monetary for, for them. Boogie, yeah, but Boogie once Creek. He gets At the end of the day. Have, hold on. Once they have a fallen out and, like, Boogie, like, and Boogie's not on the podcast anymore, the podcast fails, all the views are going to go away, and all the fans are going to go away. Like, you need... He needs to do something where but he can still... That's it, though. You audience. said it. Boogie has, given a, has been given a line. It's up to Boogie to use the line that he has been given to then He's better himself. Yes. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah. He has it, been it given is. an opportunity to make money, and so he can use that money to work on himself, maybe lose some weight. Well, for, I'm talking about content. Therapy. Oh. I, yeah. He, I, but, he can, but therapy, like he can work on himself, he can better himself, become a better person, and in those, those hate views will become love views and people will start to love him again well i don't well i <sighs> part of me thinks boogie's a that. little i i think boogie can realistically revamp his channel or even arguably make a new channel but he needs to put fucking effort into it and i fundamentally think that guy is fucking lazy which is boils down to a lot he, he wants is. he's a, per a phone call with him yeah. saying that there's a documentary on him and he's just like well i don't I don't want a job, and you need to go, you need to see the fucking video of him going up to like the lady and talking about I did porn. Well, he butched that like on that. purpose. And, like uh, it came yeah, out that he fucked like, that up on purpose. It's like, would you ever say this shit at a job interview, dude? Like, no, oh, you wouldn't. No, yeah, that came and out that he did all that on purpose. On um, I, I personally think he's a professional victim. I think he, he wants to be a victim forever, and I think he's fundamentally lazy, which are yeah. two toxic things that he you even can admitted have. that he didn't want the job. Like, he even admitted he yeah. was like, why would I even do, why would I do a job and I've got, like, some, several million on YouTube, mm -hmm. and I've got a channel, I can make money, like, through that, and it's probably because you're not making any money, Boogie. You're just complaining about, oh, I'm so fucking broke. But you need a job. You'd like to spend money on fucking hookers all the time. Maybe, <laughs> just maybe, you need to fucking get off your fat ass and get a fucking job. <laughs> all right. I want to ask you guys, the three of you, um, who do you guys, in your opinion, think is the biggest loser in the small commentary circles? Me. <laughs> Huggy? Is Huggy here? All right. Well, one second. Okay, we'll go to Triton. Like, Triton, who do you if think I'm is the being big? Honest with self-reflection, probably me, man. I mean, okay, but okay, but that's a cock out of an answer because you're just like, all you're trying to do is paint yourself. Look at me, I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. In your opinion, who's the biggest loser in commentary? Oh, I, I, okay, so Huggy says Ghosty. Who do you say, Demented? Who's the biggest pedophile in the community? Who? I don't know, but whoever the biggest pedophile in the whoever is a pedophile in the community, you are the biggest fucking scum of the earth. Are you are you just are you just afraid are, to say a name? Is that why you're you're deflecting? No, I just like I legitimately don't remember shit about the. Okay, community. that's fair. I'll take that. I'll take that. It's been a long time. Try 
Triton, who do you think? Uh, who do I think's the biggest dude? Probably Ghosty. Ghosty he lied about his dead mom. Yeah, and he's a he was a he preyed on a sixteen year old on my <laughs> server. Whoa, that's fucked. So you mean Clancy? Wait, no, go, not, no not, not you. That was, you don't know. Right? Yeah, okay. Wait, no. Wait, he hit on another minor. He wait, Ghosty yeah. hit on Clancy too. Is this stuff no, that he, you know? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, Ghosty was drunk at the time. Oh, uh, okay. Just like that's still no fucking excuse to sit there and tell a seventeen-year-old that you want to bang them, and shit. that's still no excuse. How do you guys feel that Ghosty ran from the initial, uh, of the initial show because uh, he said he didn't want the public spotlight on him again? I don't know, he's man. Fucked. I mean, it's he's I, fucked. It's kind of a, it's I, I will. Kind of it was a cop out. I think it was a because demented. You were in the conversation. He was like, "Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down." And then he was if like, "I can own up to shit if I can come in here and own up and shit." So can he? What the fuck excuses he have? But he was just like, "Oh, I, I just, I don't want to get back in the public spotlight." Blah 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 blah. But then he's in all these fucking stream chats, like doxing and shit like that, and talking shit. So he still, like, is in the community, just under fucking alts, because he is under that Garrett, or, uh, what was it, um, Bobby yeah. Garrett or Garrett Bobby or whatever it was for a bit and shit like that. The, but, like, Triton, let's back up real quick to what the fuck Triton's just said, because I've never knew that. So you mean to tell me that he hit on another, there was another minor that he hit on? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. So, Huggy, um, what do you think about Ghosty running? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And people are saying that I'm worse than a fucking pedophile? I don't th I, I've never heard anyone say that. But the people saying I'm worse they than Ghosty. That Who said that you were worse than a pedophile? Everyone just thinks no. you're a liar. No, I mean, I'm worse than And you baby. lied about a dead baby. <laughs> true, true, true. So, like, I when mean... I say that, when, I'm, when I say that, I mean, people will sometimes say that, oh... Dement it's worse than Ghosty. I mean, Wait, who said that? Who said specific, that? That's in the specific... What do you mean, who said that? Who said that? I got more flack. Okay, so yeah, on this panel, I got the most flack for having you on. But then before that, when it was just you and Ghosty, everyone was pissed about me having Ghosty. You were like going into that as like the less of, lesser of two evils with Ghosty and you. Yeah, but it's just like, I'm not saying that a lot of people said that I'm worse than but Ghosty. Who? I'm just saying that there were people <laughs> Triton that who? I can't remember. Who. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been here in a long time. I haven't been here in a while. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, so, how you do you... I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure they meant, like, with the lying and whatnot. Not with the fucking... <laughs> No, like, Ghosty, oh, Ghosty's like, Ghosty's this, well, I didn't know about any of the pedo shit, but, uh, Ghosty was, like, associated for fucking, like, doxing, um, uh, harassment, harassment, yeah, like, a lot of stuff. That That's why he is labeled worse than you. Um, but Huggy, what, what's your take on, uh, Ghosty running? Are you surprised? No. No, not at all? What, do, what are your thoughts on Ghosty, Huggy? He is... Someone that used a really bad thing as manipulation. So you just think he's a manipulator? Yes. Yeah, entirely? Okay. All right, and uh, how about Oracle Triton? So originally when, like, the ghosty thing fell out, and then we weren't sure if Demented was going to come on to this, Oracle was, like, suggested to come on to this, and then he was like, no, I'm not going to do it. And then he reached out, he's like, how about, like, a different show? What do you think about Oracle running Triton? I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know why he would run, though. I think he should have came on and stayed. I don't think this is that bad. Let's be honest. Like, we're we're getting wrap. We're getting close to like wrapping up the episode, but like, it, it it was pretty mild. I mean, no one had to argue with each other. And like, I know Oracle was like, I'm not gonna be like a wall cow or something like this. And then he was like, I don't have a lisp. It's my accent. <laughs> But, like, there's there's been, like, accusations of him, like, in his Discord having lolly in it and shit like that. But, um... Can I be honest? Yeah. I thought the dude was from fucking Ireland. I didn't <laughs> know he was from... I didn't know he was from 
I didn't know he was British. I thought he was from fucking Ireland. I thought he was Irish because of his accent, because I could barely understand a word he fucking said half the times in the I, beginning. I disappointed he ran. I mean, like, and again, like, Huggy, I... Bring, I am too. I, I wasn't sure if you were going to come on or not, so, like, I, I gotta give you, like, some kudos for coming on. But, um, do you, do you think it was a pussy move of Oracle to run? Huggy! No, it wasn't. Wait, you don't think it was a pussy move of him to run away? He has a right to not be in things. Like, I guess, but I mean, like, okay, so here's here's my argument to that, Huggy. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to come onto this, but then he has to come onto a different show. I ran. Well, like I said, like this show wasn't that bad. It might be he doesn't want to be associated with the hate. Well, so so I can hate. agree with that. I That is like a valid like excuse, but he didn't say that on Twitter. He could have just said, I don't want to be associated with these people. I And I would have taken that as like a valid response. But to me, he just like didn't want to be part of this because he was, in my, it seems like he didn't want to get like jabs thrown at him or like criticized. Which, like, again, I have to, like, give commend all of you guys. You guys all showed up here today. What the fuck are we going to throw jabs at him for? His fucking, his accent, his fucking musty-ass beard? What, what are we going to throw jabs at him? <laughs> well, I mean, like, Triton gets hit with the accent thing all the fucking time. Huggy look, gets look, hit look, with it, too. Look, 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 look. The only jab that we have to throw at him <laughs> is the fact that he looks like Slug if Slug was homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I just I say like the the biggest accusation. Well, the I biggest still, thing. I still like Oracle though, because Oracle's always been nice to me. I still like. Oracle. He's a nice guy. He's always. Like, he, he is. He is. He is. He is. He's, he's a dope guy. Like, but like he's made some mistakes in the past. The biggest. Too, the biggest thing with him was his Discord with the lolly stuff. That was the yeah, biggest that, thing. That and that 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 that. Honestly, like. I really, ugh, fuck it. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck, I can't. Fucking, just the word lolly makes me want to fucking throw up. <laughs> Alright, guys. Do you guys have any closing statements or questions for either myself or anyone else on the panel before we wrap this up, Huggy? Triton, Demented, you guys have anything? Well, is there anything else that I need to own up to? Uh, Any other questions you have for me? Yeah, wait, what? Sorry, Triton? I said, do you have any other questions for me? No, I, I personally don't. I asked whatever I want to ask. But I mean, like, uh, if you guys have any questions for each other or questions for me, um, feel free to uh, ask. Or Can I play some D&D &D with you sometime? I've always been down with you playing D&D, &D, you know that. Um, All right, is... Is uh, Bolt still a character? Yes, your your character is still a character. Um, all right then, Huggy, you're good. Do you got anything left? You're you're quiet tonight. Okay, all right then, guys. I think we're gonna wrap up episode one of Wall Smashers. I want to say thank you, Spanky Ham, for coming on, Huggy, for coming on, and Triton. I will have links to all their socials in the description of this video. Hopefully we can get a second one down and actually get into some, like, debate topics. But, uh, I figured this one we'd just break the ice, go over some shit, and then move forward from this. So, thank you guys once again for coming on tonight. I really appreciate it. It was fun, you know? I And to be fair, I thought there would be a little bit more arguments, but, yo, know, it's still fun. It's productive, I would say, in one way or another. But, thank you everybody, and we will see you on episode two of Wall Smashers.